So I'm gonna go cut this up and then we're gonna throw it in here. So I'll get back. Yeah. I want to know how to cook ground beef. Okay, so the recipe calls for you to drain the meat, but I'm not gonna drain the meat because that's just more flavor, more oil, so on and so forth. So this is what you want your meat to look like. I'm gonna show y'all. And now you're going to want to clean that um, chopping board because you're going to cut your veggies on there and this is raw meat. And raw meat and vegetables, they don't like each other. Okay, so this is what the beef looks like. It's looking really good. I'm going to show you. But now what you're going to want to do... And now we're just gonna up while you work. But you want your carrots in there and celery, and you can kind of do however many or however much vegetables you like. I'm not a big fan of celery, but I love me some carrots. So I'm gonna put some carrots in there, and then I'm also like I said, put that onion and put that pepper in there. Okay, okay guys, so you kind of want it to look like this, kind of like a vegetable stir fry in a way. And look at all that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Looks so good. Looks so good. Now it's time to start adding some flavor because you're like homegirl. You have not added one ounce of spice. You need to add some spice in here. I got you. I promise. Tiki swear. So now it is time for our outside of our garden. drain this all out and we're gonna put it in there so we're gonna take this off the burner real quick pause for a pause and we're gonna drain this so i'll be right back once i get done draining it okay so now you have your beans in there y'all see those beans and you have your vegetables in there and you're just gonna mix it up technically this can technically like i don't know if y'all can see it hold up You take some pictures because that is just absolutely enchanting to look at. Um, but yeah, this can technically be a soup. You just add broth. And so like I said, this can technically be a soup. You just add some kind of broth to it, or sauce, and boom, you can technically have a soup. But that's not what we're going for. So, there you go. I know, I know what it's about. I have 20% off. Um, now I'm going to add our chicken broth. I'm going to add chicken broth. I'm going to add chicken broth. I'm going to add chicken broth. So, next to your broth, and then you also need some tomatoes. I love that Miss Anthony is so 
Like medium high, medium high, yeah, medium high. So I added just like a fourth cup of um, more of the broth, and now you're gonna add your basil and your thyme. And these are already pre washed, which comes very convenient and in handy. And I'm just gonna take one of these, and you can break it off or you can just put the whole thing in there, it really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna just put it in there. And some people like to chop it up, like roll it up, does that make sense? And like chop it. I guess I could do that. Do you want to do that? I guess I'll do that. Just to make it a little bit more edible. Okay. Get back. And let me know if there's a right or wrong way to do time. Like, you can either break it apart or put it in there. I don't really... I don't know. Is there a rule? Like, is there a way to do it? I think I'm going to break mine apart. I cooked with time only a few times. So I don't really... <laughs> I cooked with time only a few times. Like, that's, that's comedy goals right there. Comedy goals! So we're just going to put some time in there. Put however much you feel the need to put. Okay. That should be enough. And now we're just gonna let that cook, medium high. And now we're just gonna cover that up and let it do its magic for about 15 minutes. And then we'll come back to it. So right now I'm gonna make some mac and cheese for my brother, brother, homemade mac and cheese. So yeah, I'm gonna make some mac and cheese. That, that's it. It's still cooking, still thickening. And this is the soup. I just have to mix it all together. <laughs> 